Whether you're already a filmmaker or you're just getting your start in videography, these are some of the perfect lenses for you. So this video is for somebody who works by themselves, you know, the one man band, maybe one or two camera setups for the entire day. So first up right here, we got the Tamron 17 to 70. This goes out to the APS-C users out there, you know, the Sony A6100. A6300, A6400 users out there. Even the new FX30, you could pop this on there and it you know, serves its purpose because it's an APS-C lens. At the fixed aperture and at the range that you get from this body of work, you can either vlog on this or you can get really tied up, almost portrait mode-esque, dare I say, pictures out of this. This lens is perfect for a gimbal. However, I usually balance it at around 50 just to make sure that it stays balanced whether I go out to 70 or all the way back in to 17. This lens isn't too heavy. However, the form factor does wear away at times. So if you're shooting like straight up, it does not hold 70 after a decent amount of time. So you're gonna have to make sure that you keep an eye that it's always at that zoomed out range, especially when you have it pointed up. Next up for me, because I hunt budgets and I'm a solo filmmaker, is the Sony 85 millimeter F1.8. Now this comes in at around four or 5.99. I'll put the price below, but this, I've been getting extreme detail shots with this lens. It has a 67 millimeter thread, just like the Tamron 17 to 70. So I can use the same accessories that I use on this, on this, and my other Tamron lenses back there. I wouldn't recommend throwing this on the gimbal, especially if you're focusing on the subject because it's just too tight and you gotta be super steady, especially if you were tracking a moving subject no if i had this on a tripod locked off somewhere focusing on a subject or in a, a product this would be the perfect lens for you by the way this is a full frame lens i use this on the a7 III. if you look at some of my past work i've shot in heavy detail shots even taking thumbnail photos with this very lens this lens goes out for my wedding filmmakers out there this is the tamron 18 to 300 now the zoom on this is insane and i think that it can be used from landscape photography to even portrait mode photography as well as very nice tight shots. When I go to weddings, I usually bring two cameras and I have this as my second angle, usually punched in at the altar at around 200. So it gives me that kind of 70 to 200 type look. I mean, they're not gonna know, but this gives me that 70 to 200 G Master type look at 699. And by G Master, I mean Sony G Master. This lens has minimal focus breathing, and in my opinion, it's better form factor than the 17 to 70. It actually even has a lock button here on the side, but it's only available at 18. That way it doesn't jump around a lot in your bag. It's also super small, and as you can see here, it's basically the same size as the Tamron 17 to 70. This video is in no way sponsored by Tamron, but my fourth lens that I recommend for filmmaking is the Tamron 28 to 75. F 2.8 G2. I've used that lens and it's around the same size as the 17 to 70 as well. And it also has a 67 millimeter thread. Every lens that I'm talking about right now has a 67 millimeter thread. And that means I can use the same accessories on each and every single one of these. Each of these lenses is rather small and light. So you don't really feel it on your back if you're carrying it around the whole day. I have the a7 III hooked up with the Weeble S usually, or the Crane 2S, and I have zero problems with the lens, the camera, the battery pack, and even a monitor sometimes. All these lenses are less than $900, and that's saying a lot when it comes to videography and filmmaking in general, because you know that some of these lenses can be two, $3,000, and to be honest, you're not making that much money when you're first starting out, or even when you've been doing it for a little while. So if you're just starting out or you're trying to build a business and or brand, these lenses are perfect for you. It's your boy Kip Jackson. I hope that video helps. Start somewhere. Oh, it's on that shoulder. Peace.